All right, I'm back as promised. All right, I'm gonna go over just how I designed uh, my magnetic bearing. Maybe that's the only thing I have to offer anybody, but it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, if anybody's interested in it, they can try it out themselves. I used, uh, I think these are N42s, Neos, uh, bought them at Home Depot, cheap, um, for a pack of three, they're like 250, three bucks, pretty cheap. Uh, you don't need the ceramic here, don't pay any attention to that, but you will need um, all uh, magnets on the outside facing in. And if anything's a pain in the butt, it's that, it's getting these in. Uh, one technique I use is I put double-sided tape, or sticky back, uh, all on the inside of this and then sandwiched them on and then hot glued it into place um, Now there's other options you can try obviously I'd, there's missing a space here uh, I put these in really tight really close together um, And but I didn't have enough room for one in here just barely didn't fit and uh, It's kind of a pain because they really want to flip on on themselves and you have to go all same polarity Because uh, it's going to go in um, Repulsion towards the middle towards the middle of the two magnets and uh, Here's kind of the the setup. I just drew it up real quick. So um, it doesn't matter if it's north south or south north uh, for the bearing polarity it's really I just kind of go by feel unless I'm um, Trying to get them all the same direction then I'll try to make sure I I know which way is going which um, So you know the lines of force obviously come out of the poles and it's basically just a cushioning system. Uh, so you have all these, and picture this line of force going all the way around. So let's do this left-handed and probably do this terribly, but um, you know the, the line of force is coming three, 360 degrees out of center here, right? So coming out like, like a swirl, as some people say, a, a vortex, um, a, a torus. All, all are bubbles, right? It's basically floating on a, a, a force bubble, a magnetic force bubble. And then you have the two magnets that are same, that are same polarity. Um, now I've, I've flipped them. It just depends on uh, how you want to, how, what kind of setup you want. Um, but I've, I, I have experimented with them being in, um, being in repulsion. Um, but it doesn't really work unless you really find that sweet spot and it's really a pain in, pain in the butt so this has been the easiest way for me um, so you give these a good enough spacing you kind of have to uh, play with it a little bit but it's really not that hard I mean once like if you look up here once it kind of levels out you know you really know that you're, you're hitting it good and then um, what's really nice about this this particular setup is if you, if you go like this it's uh, I'll call it semi gyroscopic because I haven't I haven't tested it out to a full extent. Um, of course, it gets hung up on the on the ferret on the ferret core there. But let's see if I can fix it. Uh, you jerk! All right, well, go open side. Ugh. Ugh, okay. Let's try this again without it bouncing over there. And actually, I did recently take off one of the bottom magnets um, just to give it a little less force down on the base, but it should still work fine, and it does. See? Oh, no, maybe not. So you have to kind of play with uh, the with uh, stabilizing the, the stabilizing weight, the magnetic weight, I, I would call it, on the bottom. You have to play with that a little bit because if you obviously want it to be gyroscopic, you're going to need more force on the bottom. This particular one, I just kind of go in vertical, and uh, you know it's really smooth, smooth bearing. It's that's all off hand force, and and you know keep in mind that there's a there's a, a lens effect going on, you know, with the ferrite. There's an attraction. Um, so, um, see what other pieces of advice can I give you? Oh, uh, if you're having it where one bearing is going to be uh, a top and one's going to be a bottom and you're trying to work against gravity you're definitely going to want um, the repulsion on the top side and uh, what I mean by that is if I'm just, if I pull this up it will stick to one side um, of the bottom side because if you look here right north south as you pull this up and as it it kind of reaches that uh, 
that that spot it'll, it'll actually try to attract you know flip up like magnets do so well so um, if you make sure that when you t when you are testing it that it is in like a, rep uh, a repulsion towards towards up if you're trying to if you're trying to counterweight you know if you're trying to fight against gravity if you're trying to use gravity to your advantage then um, you know you play with it the other way around um, but yeah see I think that's that's pretty much it just just uh, you know experimentation um, there's got to be a better way than just hot gluing it. I mean, you could put it in place. If you have a 3D printer and you make a, a ring with a, with divots in it, that would be killer. I don't have a 3D printer. Or if you have a CNC machine, I mean, uh, you, you, all that all that stuff. If you have any of that stuff, I don't like you. You're a jerk. You need to give it to me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe make me some parts? Huh? Huh? So, uh, and oh, another thing is, uh, I, I guess it's important. I've gone over this before, but there's a... Basically, just a counterweight balancing act or a magnet on the bottom. I'll look at that. One of the leads stuck to it. Uh, one of the alligator clips. Pull it off. One handed stuff is not very fun. I think lots of people. There's, there's some pros out there. I've seen some one handed pros. I'm doing this myself now. Oh, look at that. That's kind of loose, too. I gotta mess with that. Uh, doing this myself now. I really understand the one-handed techniques. Um, so um, I just have some magnets in series. There's a big beefy one, and then some other ones just to add to it because I was just these are little wafer magnets. I'm just I was trying to get it nicely balanced where it wasn't pulling too hard. And uh, again, these are cheap magnets. Actually, I think I got these ones from K and J. I don't know if I should drop names, but um, I got these ones uh, online, and they are. Uh, they're, they're really cheap little wafer magnets really thin they break super easy um, and uh, so yeah that's pretty much it obviously you want uh, the least frictionless surface possible um, so in this particular case I have uh, a mirror you can use glass you can use <laughs> pyrolytic graphite um, there's some other things that are super smooth that I escape me right now, but there's all kinds of different things you can experiment with. Um, also, uh, you can avoid having the uh, the bottom magnets too if you have a conclave, you know, a, a, where it kind of dips down. Um, that way, the needle won't ride up. You know, it'll use gravity to kind of keep it centered. That's another way to do it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any piece of glass that really suited the, those needs, and I wasn't about to go try to break the inside of a glass and fit it in nicely. I tried using a lens, like a, I couldn't, I found one uh, lens from spectacles, from glasses, and uh, that was actually glass and not the new uh, composite materials, and it didn't work very well because it was so small. Um, if I sunk it in deeper, I don't know, I, I, I could expand, experiment with that stuff later. Maybe the bottom of a mason jar, just, uh, I've been thinking about that, trying to break off the top, just gently breaking off the top. I mean, it's be kind of tricky, but just other ideas. Um, and and uh, if anybody messes with these magnetic bearings, uh, I'd love to see the video and see if you've improved at all on, my, on, the, on this particular sky. This is just a discovery I've made. I don't like to really say I invent anything because Really, somebody could have easily discovered it a long time ago, and really, I mean, in the exploration of being human, uh, everything's a discovery, I think. That's my personal opinion, but, you know, what is opinion worth? Um, so thanks for watching again. Uh, I'll leave you with this just one more time if you want to look at it, and that's all I got. <laughs>